sit meditate for a few minutes. Anam Pauna Sapakning. Close your eyes and try to get to know your own mind. We're looking for insights, but it's not a matter of simply cloning the insights that you read about in books or you hear about in Dharma talks. You have to create the conditions in your own mind to actually see what's going on and to see what you're doing and what the results are. It's when you see cause and effect, it, that's when you begin to make connections. And oftentimes you see that things you like to do can lead to something bad, or things that you've simply been habituated to, to doing can lead to something bad. If you don't see the connection, there's the bad thing and there's the, the action, and the, you don't see any reason why you should give up the action. It's when you see the connection that you realize, okay, this action, no matter how much I like it or how much I'm used to it, I've got to stop. So you're creating the conditions. Often we think of wisdom as the little aphorisms, the kinds of things they put in little books of wise sayings. But wisdom comes from seeing what's worth doing and what's not worth doing. And sometimes the wise sayings are useful and sometimes they're not. Sometimes they're right for you and sometimes they're not. What you need to do is develop the conditions in your own mind where you can see things clearly and make clear judgments, judgments that you can learn how to trust. That means the mind has to be really still, but alert and asking questions. If you get into a dull stillness where you're just kind of hanging out, there is time for the mind to rest. But they, there comes a point where you have to start asking questions again. And it's that questioning mind that comes out of the stillness. That's what creates the conditions for insights to arise. And once they've arisen, the issue is how relevant are they for what you're doing right now? If they're not relevant, just put them aside. You don't have to rem remember them. Think of it being like a goose that lays golden eggs. The eggs stay gold only for a little while. So you use them while they're still gold. But then you don't have to try to hang on to them, because you try to hang on to the golden eggs and they turn into feathers and ashes. What you've got to do is make sure you keep looking after the goose and the golden eggs will keep coming. So look after the conditions, and the insights are sure to come. <laughs>